Look at that. That is outrageous relaxation. Hello from Cornwall. We haven't vlogged this whole weekend we've been here. I feel kind of bad. We got here on Saturday and we've just been hanging out with the family and the dogs. I think Alex has got a load of clips of the dogs so maybe he'll insert them here. Have you got those clips of the dogs and the cats? Uh, yes. Yeah, so he'll insert them here. But right now we are going to town because today I'm filming a recipe video. We were gonna vlog yesterday, it would have been smarter to vlog yesterday because today we're gonna be kind of preoccupied with filming recipes and stuff, but it's our last day. And um, yeah, sometimes when you go home, you just don't really want to pick up a camera. You want to just like relax. This is exactly what we've done. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. In the UK, we're having a bit of a heat wave. Summer has decided to cooperate. So it's like the first day of summer the other day. And now it's like 25 degrees, which is just so it's, rare. Uh, 27 according to my 27. car. 27. Yeah, like it's so rare in the UK. Most summers you get uh, maybe a handful of days that are above 20 and it's like, yeah, summer. But to have a whole week of like 27 just doesn't happen, does it? I can't. Well, I can't Because we missed last summer. We were in Thailand. Yeah. I can't remember when it's been so consistently nice weather. Yeah, we've had so much like, nice weather this year. Global warming. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but yeah, it's really lovely. So I'm going to be doing a video, a barbecue recipe video. So we're going to do a barbecue this evening and we'll make some loads of loads of vegan things for a barbecue because I know that some people struggle to think well I'm vegan now what the hell am I going to have at a barbecue well I've got you covered Ooh, so um, the video actually will be up so you can go watch it if you haven't seen it already <sighs> we are going to go to good old Trago Mills if any of you are from Cornwall you'll know good old Trago, Trago Mills but I don't think we have time anymore annoyingly I really wanted um, I know how much you guys love hearing about me washing my car and stuff oh my god uh, Trago is like the only place you can get the Astonish car wash, oh. like the cruelty free stuff, everything yeah. else is so... I went to three different shops in Brighton trying to find it, that yeah. supposedly stocked it and they didn't. Well maybe you don't need to buy a specific wash for your car. It's a marketing scam. Yeah. Alex went out and bought loads of different stuff for his car and I'm thinking this is all the same stuff with different labels on it's it. It's not. It is. It's not, man. It is. I'm, I'm good with that. I don't yeah. get suckered into random marketing stuff. Sure shop. you don't. I'm not going to wash my car with fairy washing liquid, am I? Not really my fairy. The, the, the thing's going crazy. But yeah, we're going to go get uh, <clears throat> ingredients for my video for this barbecue this evening. And also, my friend is coming over, so she'll get to taste all the vegan goodies. She's not vegan, and neither my parents. So we're going to be having a fully vegan barbecue, which is mm. kind of cool. The other day, we had a full vegan we spread. We did. My mum made like a vegan tapas, and it was incredible, which inspired me. I think I might do a video like that in the future of like vegan tapas foods or like side dishes and stuff that you can make uh, for like a dinner party because it was so amazing. And I think food like that, when you eat a load of variety, you really don't notice. Or if you were to be eating with friends who were non-vegans, you really wouldn't miss the meat or notice it because it's just loads of different flavors and different dishes. And um, this evening I'm making like burgers and portobello mushrooms and kebabs. So same again, I don't think you will necessarily notice. So. I'm excited. It's boiling hot. I'm so hot. It's been so nice being at home because we've been like, I, I love, I love kind of coming to the realization that I can work and also go home and travel and do stuff because last week I was ill and then this, this, like this week we've come down here and then next week we're going on holiday and work hasn't necessarily suffered. It has kind of, like I haven't been able to be on top of my emails and I feel a little bit disorganized. But it, it, I just feel very lucky that I'm able to do my job and also come see my family or go on holiday. And it's made me realise that. It's the first time I've had to juggle it what, like on top of one another, like being ill, then going home and then going on holiday. And I think I'm juggling it well. Well, I do have some emails I need to answer when we get back. I, 
love my job. I'm, I have pinched me moments. I feel very lucky. But anyway, we're gonna go to Morrison's now. Good old Morrison's. Also, thumbs up the video or comment down below if you have watched us from back in the Cornwall days. If you've watched my channel right from the beginning when I lived in Cornwall and when we used to go to Aldi and Morrison's and like when you, yeah, let us know if you've been following I, for a while. I was thinking, when was the last time we vlogged going to uh, Morrison's? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like in this guy. comment if you are, if you remember Frankie and Elmo and Midnight and, and Willow, all our animals, and Zeus, let us know, because I'd be interested to see how many of you have been around for a long time. I know a lot of you have. I recognize, I know a lot of you from your usernames and um, those of you who comment all the time, but I'd just be interested, so let us know. What do we need? Is this zoomed in or are we just so used no, to the wide lens? No, so used to the wide lens. My phone won't switch. We need mushrooms, we need new potatoes. You go get chestnut mushrooms, I'll go, and the watermelon mushrooms, and then I'll go find. So the camera died when we were Morrison's. <laughs> But we're back now and we're about to get cooking. Here's some of the ingredients that we're gonna be using. We've got lots of fun things we're cooking. So we're doing the black bean burger that I've already, or like, not the black bean burger. Well, yeah, it's a black bean burger. But it's basically the vegan cheeseburger that I did in my burger video. So we're recreating that. And then also we're making a vegan potato salad. Hello. A um, veggie kebabs, which we couldn't get tofu for, but we're still making veggie kebabs. And... Why can I never remember what I'm making? Stuffed this happens mushroom. every time. <laughs> and portobello mushrooms, they're not stuffed, they're just portobello oh, mushrooms. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm gonna be doing like just suggestions for sides, so things like green salad, yeah. corn on the cob, hummus, guacamole, that type of thing, but those won't be like recipes. So we're gonna start with the burgers, and then we'll probably do the vegetables, because they need to like marinate and the potato and the, the mushrooms, and then we'll do the potato salad last, because that doesn't need to like marinate or anything. Look how, um, I don't know if any of you are interested in the no, no, no poo thing. When I come to Cornwall, look how flat my hair is and there's like no frizz. This is because of the water here. It's literally like, well, it's mineral water because it's our own well water. But it just means that my hair, I washed it two days ago and it feels like I washed it this morning. It feels so soft and it's like flat, which my hair has never has that issue because it's just the water is so different from Brighton. Okay. It's striking me like I'm a dog. I'm just trying to, if you insist. You see how flat it is on my head? Normally it's like, poof. <laughs> anyway, we're going to film now. Right. Put a time lapse <clears throat> on or something. Hi yeah, we're having a break. We're on a break, me and Maddie. Why are we, how come we're using the Juice Never Next for this vlog? Uh huh. Going back in time. We're using the other one for filming. It's just easier to have this all on one memory card. These taste legit the same as the Magnum. These are from mm. Morrison's. Yeah, these are good. Mmm. Yeah, I'm a bit miffed because I have four burger recipes on my website that I've done in videos. And one of them I made in particular for kind of barbecuing or with barbecuing in mind at least because it's like a drier burger recipe and if you know anything about veggie burgers they're often quite wet and it's kind of hard to barbecue them so i was like right i'll do that one and i accidentally selected the wrong one in my brain so one of them's called spicy black bean burger and one of them's called the ultimate vegan cheeseburger or vegan burger both of them have black beans in it so in my brain i, I mi mi mix them up 
and the one that I've made is like quite a wet burger that you're supposed to fry um, and it's made with soy mince because that's why it makes it quite wet so I think I'm gonna have to make another burger recipe or not make another lo load of burgers because that's not gonna barbecue and it's not gonna look very good in the video because the burger is kind of like the main event isn't it so I want to get like a proper shot of barbecuing the burgers to show that it can be done so that's a little bit annoying but it's not something that takes very long you just put it in a food processor so I'm gonna have this and then we're gonna make the burgers and women should be good to go another thing behind the scenes of the challenges of blogging and vlogging is that because we are actually eating this barbecue for dinner and i need to take photographs of each individual recipe and also film in each individual recipe i'm gonna have to barbecue everything ahead of time bring it inside and then keep the barbecue kind of on and then reheat it when we're ready to eat because i don't want to cook everything take pictures film everything with everyone kind of sitting waiting and it get cold and that type of thing so i want to do it ahead of time so i'm prepared i've got all the, the footage and all the pictures i need and then um we'll come back and reheat everything so that's another thing that i'm gonna have to do which is also a little bit stressful because i have my friend coming around for this barbecue later so this is helping me because i feel a little bit like oh how's it gonna get done it'll be fine everything's gone apart from the burger everything else has gone really smoothly and everything else was really easy so now, being a man, I have to pretend like I know how to make a barbecue at all times. And really, I don't really have a clue. Here is said barbecue. I've got to clean this because it hasn't been cleaned since last summer, probably. Scoop all this out and pop some fresh coals in. I can make a fire when I have the proper equipment, so I should be able to make a barbecue with the proper stuff too. Just got to give it a clean. Maddie's dad will be home any minute, so... With any luck, he'll save me the trouble. <laughs> Willow has come to help, haven't you? Yes? Would you like a brush with the wire brush? Yes? Ah. So pretty. <laughs> Don't eat it. You would eat it, wouldn't you? Quite difficult with one hand, I have to say. Don't feel like I'm really getting anywhere. My brain hurts from the order. Order? Oh, like mixing it up. Well, because there's way more of some things. Yeah. They look really nice though, don't they? They do. They look beautiful. <coughs> there's spot, like, way more mushrooms. So I might have to adjust the amounts that I've put. Well, then they... again, I, I suggested like 10 kebabs, whereas this is like... <laughs> You're coming to help, Elmo. Time to get this into there. Such a beautiful afternoon. It's incredible. Just taking the doggies for a walk. Barbecue up and running. Just pretend those different pairs of arms and hands that were actually Maddie's dad doing the barbecue were me. And I have just witnessed one of the funniest things I think I've seen in a long, long time. I'm assuming most of you know Willow, Maddie's insane Springer Spaniel. Basically what started out as Maddie's dad watering the runner beans turned into us just shooting water at her for a solid five minutes because she loves to chase water because she is insane <laughs> so i'm going to insert those clips here <laughs> And now it is almost time for the barbecue.
barbecue all done. That was an intense day of work. We started about just after midday, one o'clock, filming, preparing, organizing, and then we only just finished the barbecue like half eight, nine, just in time for the end of the football. Maddie's watching Love Island with her mum, so I thought I'd come along with the doggies for a walk. Here we are. Hello. <laughs> Look at that sunset though. Beautiful. Such a beautiful part of the world, isn't it, Willow? Are you going to give me the toy now? Come on. Oh, good girl. Come on. Thought I'd end the vlog here. It's nearly 10 o'clock and it's still sunny out. Oh, I love this time of year. We're supposed to go back tomorrow, but now we think we had such a lovely evening. Maddie's friend Jazz came over, which is my friend too, but and now we don't really want to go back tomorrow morning because it's in like 12 hours we'll have to leave we haven't packed and uh, you know the feeling especially because it's like a five hour car journey i'd rather just stay another day look how cool this garden gets in the summer when all the uh i don't even know what this is it's not hay or it's sort of hay and it's like ferns as well very pretty and there's cows well there's no cows there there's cows in the next one that they might have gone to bed by now and there's the pheasant, can you hear that? And I've continued talking for another couple of minutes after I said goodbye. The muff, the micro muff. I got it and I completely forgot to mention it. We were kindly sent one. And I can't remember if I mentioned it in any vlogs because we haven't used this camera a lot lately. And we haven't been outside uh, vlogging so much. But I remember a few vlogs earlier in the year when we had this on and we were filming down by the seafront. And it really does cut out a lot of the wind noise because I was having a lot of trouble with that in the past. Filming outside in Brighton, it's so windy. But you stick this little muff on uh, and it's great. Yeah, it makes it so much easier to edit as well because you can actually hear me talking and I don't have to cut everything out that I say because it's inaudible. Right, I've done a circuit of the garden. I think I'd call that about bedtime, wouldn't you, Willow? I don't know, she has endless energy. I don't understand. She's still going, like... <laughs> She was half asleep when I called her out for a walk and now she's running around all over the place. Ah, we need to get a pet soon. That'll be all for today. Maybe we'll be in Cornwall tomorrow, who knows? All right then, see you next time.